Just as it does in markets around the world, Coke hones in on South Africa's vast and emerging middle class, a group which earns the equivalent of between three and five thousand U.S. dollars a year. Amanda Manchia is director of marketing for Africa and India. As people become more middle class, they want more things. They have more choice. So. And we, we need to keep up with those needs. The good thing about the emerging middle class is that they emerge. <laughs> and then once they have those kind of habits and, and desires in place, we, you know, we continue to talk to them and make things available to them. And affordable. To ensure that, 70% of African sales are in recyclable glass, cheaper for Coke and its customers. Another way it keeps Coke within reach? Smaller, lower-priced bottles. Success in Africa is critical because of the company's growing dependence on overseas markets. They make up about 80 percent of Coke's global sales as business in North America flags. For over a century, the Coca-Cola company has stood as the most iconic enterprise in the history of American business. Now, go inside the beverage giant as it battles new competition and goes around the globe to satisfy consumers' thirst for the world's number one soft drink. Discover the secrets behind the best known product on the planet. Melissa Lee reports, Coca-Cola, the real story behind the real thing. November 11th on CNBC, first in business worldwide.